Yo, what's going on guys? Now, I mentioned in my last video, I want to start doing Element Showcase of Chrysor. But before that, there are two new weapons to the game. Them being the new Seraphic weapons for Light and Dark. And they're type of uh, ridiculous. But before I wanted to showcase Chrysor, I wanted to showcase these elements um, with their traffic weapon so you can see the, the full power and capability of each element lights doing unnecessary amount of damage that is just far beyond what it could do a couple days ago um so the new weapon being the harp of the teachers this is the newest weapon the traffic weapon you could trade for it um you have to build it up like the other traffic weapons in the game it's not that hard other than one item that's really annoying to get from 13 uh, 113-2 uh, if you have Sarasa and Luna Lewis it'd be really easy though but this is the newest weapon they have the same skill that the other traffic weapon just for light and the other one being for dark so pretty pretty good combining with light characters like uh, Kumbira so you can really get some really high numbers on light so hopefully I'm here and able to showcase how strong light can be and uh, why they need to remove these weapons <laughs> because they are hitting they are hitting a ridiculous amount of damage we'll be taking on celeste high level um i wanted to change one thing i think did a video of this earlier and i missed like every debuff so i'm gonna bring thor <laughs> i wanted to i wanted to bring thor so let me change that really quick i probably would have done this before the video but i think it did like literally just did the boss fight and i missed every debuff like for like the whole fight i pretty much fought the boss without debuffs and i was like yeah <laughs> This is probably not the best idea, so we may we make uh, adjustments to it. It mainly comes down to like the 50% part, like around here, where it goes to its other form. It becomes really hard to hit debuffs. I am playing Necromancer because you know it's it's the best way of really showcasing light's damage. So. See, we we already started. The fight hasn't even started yet. We're already missing everything. Feels bad. That's why I had to change it up just for this. Okay. Also, you can see that Bahamut is now uh, ultimate limit break, I think it's called. I don't know the actual term for it. If anyone here knows, do tell me. I think it's called ultimate limit break, though. That is loud. Whoa. Let's uh, turn that bad boy down. <laughs> I was not expecting the sound effects to be that loud on her attacks. So I really do like this outfit. I, I think I'm gonna be using the Conqueror's uh, Eternals like for everything. Even though it has no voice, which I really wish it did have a voice, I really like the way it looks in the attack. The way it attacks is really cool. Um, I know people are talking about the Super Saiyan Blue outfit. I. Uh, don't plan on getting that anytime soon. I think I am because it's a challenging quest and I want to showcase the challenging quest, but it's going to take some time. I still don't even have every full of break a turn on this account at the moment. So I got to get back to grinding again. I'm like everybody again, grinding. So I have a reason to like, actually do stuff in the game. It's pretty cool. Haven't had that in like over a year. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting to the point where it's about to transform and get a little bit more tanky. Uh, when Celeste gets under 75, she turns to really high de level defense, like something similar to Bahamut high level. So it's really good if you want to see how hard you will be hitting and something like Bahamut high level. Because you can't really always see your damage normally. Alright, so... Hopefully we hit the fence down. If not, it's okay. Yeah, this, this is what happened last time. Like I miss, I was missing everything, so, and I didn't have Thor. This time I, I brought Thor just for a little bit more consistency. So you can see the damage drop right here. Uh, use Thor right now. Even before Thor misses, <laughs> it actually can miss. I've seen it miss before. It's like very, very rare though. I think it was only in uh, Bahamut High Level, like near the end. I've seen it miss. So. 
Yeah, I think back then because we were using like what five Thors or something like that. It was like really early on in Bahamut high level, um, Ultimate Bahamut high level, where people used to run a lot of Thors. It would miss if like near the end could we use so many Thors. Not anymore though. Now everybody just runs their face into the boss. Actually, I, I need to do a solo um, Bahamut high level on this account now, so this would be fun. I'm gonna try doing a different element though. I did it with water before, so I think I'm gonna try like something like fire. Like wind is too easy, so I'm gonna try to avoid wind. Light is kind of easy too. I want to use a different element, so it's either gonna be dark or fire. Okay, so we can get some. So we should be ogying this turn and get some. To get a good amount of damage here. Yeah, you see Bahamut kicking in 3.5 million Ogies, 3.8, and that's without her uncap. So combine that with uncap, and then you probably hit like 4 million. That's only one, one, um, one of Vera's weapons. Uh, oh, we need two turns of Shiva. Huh. I wish I set that up a little bit better. <laughs> So we got one turn. Uh, do we drop Shiva? That's the question. Do we drop Shiva? Technically, we can. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. You think Kumbera damage dropped a little bit? Because you don't have the buff from the Ultima and the um the Ultima and Akasha weapon. So in like higher level defense, it's a little bit harder for her to hit her maximum value. So we see Fun Fun hit like wrong 4 million here on this Ogi. Something close to that. Yeah, 4.2. Poor Kumbira. She's trying her hardest. <laughs> She's mainly here just for her skill too, to be honest. I need to figure out a way to put her into the, the team again. So that she's not suffering so hard on the weapons. Probably need like a third Eden though. A third Eden will replace the uh, Akasha weapon. See, the boss is dead. Why are you still attack? I I've never seen that, bro. That was a, that was BM. <laughs> the boss is already dead. Is she still attacking? Like I've I've never seen that before. So I find that really funny. Well, hopefully you guys can see a little showcase in high level defense and lower level defense. You do a lot more damage. Something like, let's say, uh, Dark Angel Olivia, but I didn't want to do like Dark Angel Olivia. I'm tired of that raid. I don't think I'm ever doing Dark Angel Olivia, Twin Elements, any of those raids. You won't be seeing me do that again. From now on, at the lowest tier, you're going to see Magna, two, uh, Magna 1 high level. Because they lower the health bars of everything, so it's a lot easier for me to record and not take like 10, 20 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy that. Uh, I'll be doing dark next, and then after that, we're gonna go to Chrysor showcasing. So, I'm not trying to spam videos out like every like five hours or something. So, hopefully, you guys are okay with that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.